Hello guys, I am here to do a review over Cruella. I loved this movie. I was not expecting to whatsoever, but I loved it. I'm going to do a non-spoiler section and a spoiler section, so if you have not watched this movie, you can watch a portion of this video, but I would highly recommend to leave this video and not be spoiled. Because <laughs> I will do spoilers. And when I say spoilers, like, the whole movie. I'm gonna explain the movie and what I like about it. So, yeah. Let's get started on to the non-spoiler section. I love this movie, as I said. I was not expecting to like this movie at all, and I really enjoyed it. I think the characters are great. The humor was great. The acting was phenomenal. The music was really, really good, too. I, like, this music was really good. I liked the music a lot, and I think it worked for the chaotic nature of this movie, too. Um, the one thing I will say is I do not think that this is, like, an actual prequel of what happened. I don't think that this is what happened before 101 Dalmatians at all, but I, it was just a fun movie. Like, it wasn't very likely to, and it didn't go with the story very much, but it was a fun movie, and I enjoyed it, just so... That's really all I asked for for a movie. It doesn't really need to make sense. It's just, it has to be a fun movie and I have to have a fun time. And I did. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Um, I really like how Cruella changes over time and like Estella and seeing how Estella and Cruella are two different people, but like are the same person. I thought that was done really, really well in how, like, the costumes and the hair really changed. So they, yeah, her personality is a lot different, but the way she dresses is a lot different. The way she speaks is a lot different. They changed her character so that she would be a completely different person, and I thought that was done really well. Um, I think that these costumes are beautiful. The costume designers for this movie are fantastic. Like, they did a great job. I cannot, like, talk enough about these costumes and how they're all so different, but they all work so well for what's going on in the story and things like that. And they explain just by their costumes what these characters uh, who these characters are, what they believe, and things like that. I really enjoyed them, and they're just, every costume's so different, and they're all so beautiful, so I thought it was really great. Um, the acting, all the actors are really, really good, and they played their roles really well, and they all work together so well. These actors all have so much chemistry on screen, and it's just so good. It's so good. I loved it. Um, I, um, I loved Jasper and Horace and, like, their friendship, and I loved seeing them as kids with Estella and Jasper and Horace. They were all so much fun, and although that didn't last for a very long amount of time, it was so much fun to see them as kids, and I loved that part. Um... So yeah, that's really all I'm going to say, because I don't want to spoil things. So I'm going to move on to spoilers, so if you have not watched Cruella, I would highly recommend to leave this video now. It is free on Disney+, Plus, so if you have a Disney Plus subscription, you don't have to pay the, um, the like $30 fee that you had to when it was in theaters anymore, so... It's free if you have the Disney Plus subscription, like, you still need to pay for the Disney Plus subscription, but you don't have to pay the $30 fee anymore, so I would highly recommend it. Go watch it if you haven't, and if you don't like it in, like, 30 minutes, just turn it off. But I really think that majority will like this film, um, and it's just a fun time, so... That is my thoughts for non-spoilers, so I'm gonna go into spoilers now. So if you have not watched this movie, I would highly recommend to leave this video, go watch the movie, and then come back. So I'm gonna do spoilers in three, two, one. Okay, now we're here. So, um, yeah, that's right. I 
really thought that this was a fantastic movie, as I've said. All the characters with, like, the Baroness, I didn't even talk about her yet. Although she is very much so, I'm evil, and I don't have any other character trait kind of villain, I think that's just fine. Some of the twist villains are like, I'm good, and I have a tragic backstory. Some of those are not done well, so I, I, I think it was fine. I don't have a problem with it. Um... I love, um, like, Cruella or Estella and the Baroness's, like, battle and how we even find out that this is probably wasn't the best part of the movie, but it still wasn't bad, where, like, Estella was the Baroness's daughter, and it made sense. Sometimes those things, you're like, you just did that for plot convenience. That does not make any sense. It made sense, so it was done the best way, but those aren't really my favorite things to do in a movie, because we've seen it a lot. But, um, I thought it was good. Um, it was the best it could possibly be done. I loved, like, her mom, not the Baroness, but, like, her, her mom that took care of her and things like that. Um, so, like, not her biological mom, but you know what I mean. Um, she was great, and Kid Crew Estella, and they had so much good like scenes together it was great and then when she died from donations that was kind of weird I don't know how I felt about that it was kind of weird but eh what are you gonna do um and then how she found Jasper and Horace and I've already talked about how much I love them in this movie I love Jasper Jasper was probably my favorite character in the movie and I would not say that about the original movie so that was awesome. That was great. I loved him. Um, and so their, like, their friendship and how it changed from, like, them being a kid and, um, to when she went crazy and was Cruella. So it was really cool to see that and how he was, like, when they were adult, he was like, I will help Estella, but Cruella, not so much. You're not... <laughs> You're not a good person anymore, and you. Know, I liked how they accomplished that. I thought they did it really well. Um, what else? I loved the fashion designing type kind of thing, and how she worked for the Baroness um, in their business, and how all that worked, and how she was like Cruella in the news, and how uh, Anita would write um news articles so that people would know who Cruella was I thought that was done really well I really enjoyed that um what else what else did I enjoy about that part I what like the costumes for that part of the movie were so great and it was just fantastic um like the one with where she has like different clothes and she like falls out of garbage um like a garbage truck it was it was really really cool i liked i liked how all the costumes were so different and how all the characters had such different co costumes that helped with their characters i i cannot like give them enough love for these costumes and the actors played these characters so well they they did what they were supposed to do really, really well. These are all fantastic actors that I, I really want to know more of what they're in because they were all so good and I really enjoyed all of them and being able to follow all their characters in this movie. Um, this was a funny movie. I, I did think it was really funny. Um, Although, like, the humor wasn't the big part of this movie, I do think it was good. Um, it really wasn't, there weren't a lot that, like, laugh out loud kind of moments, but it was still funny. Um, I, I really liked the music. The music and, like, the chaotic nature of the music and the characters really worked well in how, like, the music and what was happening on screen really was fantastic it was great to see all of these things that like the music did and how it helped the story move along so i thought that was really really good um 
I, I just, I, I also thought that these characters were really good. Um, everything with the Baroness and how she was evil was pretty good. Um, she was very, very evil. Like, there wasn't a, oh, but she's a, but she has a tragic backstory. There wasn't any of that. And although that can be done well, many times it's not. So I was okay with that. Um, but I thought it was really good what they did do with her. How, like, Estella died, but Cruella didn't. And how she was just Cruella now. I think that was really, really cool. And how, like, the Baroness went to jail for pushing her, like, Estella off the cliff. But in Cruella only did that. Estella, actually. Estella only did that because, um... She should have gone to jail a lot earlier to, for doing that to her mom. And, like, everything with the necklace and things like that. And all the dogs. The dogs were really, really good in this movie. Um, and they, like, they were trained really well. Um, they really did a great job with these dogs. And, um, yeah, I think they did a really good job with that. Um... Yeah, I don't really have a whole lot to say other than it's a fun movie. It's really, really fun. And everyone does a great job. Uh, although, like, it's far from the best movie in the world, it's probably one of my favorite live-action remakes. Christopher Robin's the best one. Um, but it might be, like, my second favorite, which I don't like many. Actually, no. Christopher Robin, Aladdin, and then this one. So it's, it's definitely in my top three. Um, I, I, yeah, I would recommend this to anyone that likes Cruella de Vil, that just likes fun movies, like, that likes any of these actors or anything like that. I, I would probably recommend this to anyone. It's a really, really fun movie. And if you like these kinds of things, then I think you would, I, you would really have a fun time with it. Um, but I haven't heard very much, like, people that dislike this movie. And that's saying a lot when you're a live-action remake. So, I would recommend it. I have heard some people who don't think it's the best, but I haven't, I don't think I've heard anyone that's bashing this movie. And you hear that a lot. <laughs> with these live action remakes. So, um, that's really all I have to say. Um, I would highly recommend this. It's a fun time. It's just, it's really, really good. It's on Disney Plus. You can watch it. So, yeah. Um, so I hope you're having a wonderful day. I love you 3000 and stay safe. Bye guys!